Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Artway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 8th, 2023. Well, this morning we're looking at kind of a reversal of fortune here. We saw a big move in the Dow yesterday, just surging to the upside, but relatively lackluster performance in the other indexes, and all of that occurred on relatively low volume. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, doggone it. Um, if you raced in to the diamonds yesterday, kind of chasing stocks to the upside, you may end up with a little bit of a disappointment here this morning. It all kind of started off with China last night um, delivering some uh, poor uh, trade figures, and that's driving oil prices down, showing that demand destruction may be coming into the market. And right now, heading as I record this, we're looking at a pretty substantial reversal here in the market. Now, we've had some um, mixed um, earnings data as well this morning. Um, if you take a look on the positive side, we got Eli Lilly running huge to the upside here. But we've got UPS, whew, kind of an ugly drop here in the morning. So a little bit of mix of data coming in here as we face um, still this uncertainty of weakening economic conditions, um, not just here, but around the world. And we're looking at a bit of a gap down here this morning on the diamonds, if we continue to hold this into the open. Now, if we were to look for um, inspiration here today, if the bulls find inspiration, um, looking at the pre-market here, I would suggest a retest of that resistance right up here would be where we would go if the bulls can reverse this and push back to the upside. If the bears find inspiration today, well, I'm gonna suggest a test of the lower side of that candle. And um, of course, if that were to break, then a retest of the lows of uh, last Friday. So let's watch carefully in here. What we might be doing is slipping into more of a wide ranging chopping um, situation here with low volume as we wait on that inflation data for Thursday with that CPI number. So keep a close eye on that. Um, I would expect some volatility today. We've got some banking issues starting to crop up, showing some problems here in the market. We've got liquidity draining out of the market pretty quickly, as well as banks um, restrict lending. Um, with the issues that we've got going on in bond yields. So there's a lot going on underneath the surface here that may not be reflected in some of the price action yet, but let's watch that close. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, SPY, rallying back up yesterday, but as I suggested, I don't think we have too much to worry about unless we were to break that resistance right here in the chart. And you can see we powered up here and we challenged the upside candle uh, upside of that candle to open on Friday but just wasn't able to break through with a low volume that we saw yesterday and now we're experiencing the possibility of a full reversal here at the open in the spy so gap down at a new uh, breaking yesterday's low um, on that move so watch that carefully if those bulls find inspiration i'm going to say once again let's see if we can retest this level here and if they can push on through that level then i think we're up here testing this bigger level of price resistance in the spy if the bears find uh, continue to find this inspiration this morning, and you can see we're already suggesting that we could break the low of yesterday at the open, I'm going to suspect this right here would be a test of support in the chart. And if they continue to push, um, then I'm looking at this bigger support level here as a place to find that. Now, keeping in mind, that's going to 
start pushing us down toward that 50 day moving average. And once we start getting close to the 50 day moving average, the 50 day moving average tends to draw prices to it pretty, pretty hard once we get close. It's like a big old electric magnet. You get close enough and it just sucks you right in. So watch that carefully, that possibility that we may see the 50 day moving average here soon on the SPY does exist. If we were to uh, take a look at our QQQ, a lot of shine has come off of the QQQ here and we did end up yesterday testing this support level and bounced off of it and pushed back up. But you can see right in here, we've developed a fairly considerable price resistance in the chart there on the QQQ. So if the bulls can find inspiration today, I would look for a push up in to test this and if they can break through that area then uh, a lot of things could change here but um, looking right up in here there's another level of price resistance right in there would be the next area to attack if those bears um, continue to push here this morning and you can see that possibility that we could break this price support level here in the chart and if that were to break then I would suggest that that possibility right in here would be the next test of support um, checking in on that trend and also checking in on that 50-day moving average which I think is reaching that point where it could really draw prices to it pretty quickly so watch that carefully. If we take a look at our IWM, well, oh, IWM, uh, taking it pretty hard today. We um, were really soft in here in IWM yesterday, just bouncing around. Now we've got IWM suggesting some bearishness here this morning, maybe gapping below yesterday's low, pushing down. And I've been suggesting this is overextended and probably needs a little bit more rest and pullback. And if you remember, I said if we fail this area here, then the next likely area to test is right in here. We're headed there this morning to maybe test that area. And now if that doesn't hold, we could fall into this gap and go just a little bit lower here, come back here and test this trend. And that would also move us back toward that 50 day moving average, which again could draw us lower if we get close enough to it. Then let's take a look at our um, VIX. Now our VIX yesterday reversed a bit relieving some of that fear pressure but you want to notice that it is showing a little bit of stickiness here holding up above that higher low in here and uh, or holding up above that downtrend and if we happen to make a higher low in here meaning today we see those uh, bears engage and that fear kind of come back into the market you can see how this creates that possible higher low and as i've said before Real selling doesn't begin here. It begins on the first higher low. That's where fear really starts to creep up. So let's keep a close eye on that. Um, it is possible this could move pretty quickly if the bears really engage and, and that fear starts to creep up. Remember, we've got a lot of our stocks are priced to perfection or beyond. Our PE ratios are extremely elevated here in the market. So that that frothiness that we see in these indexes could come off really quickly if um, the bears truly engage and you can see a lot of folks running for the doors at the same time to protect profits and of course those who chased in yesterday uh, buying long and, and trying to push this up thinking we're just going to continue to reach up and go straight up to brand new highs going to feel a little pinch here this morning um, on that reversal unless something changes over the next uh, couple of hours in the pre-market. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, our T2122 bouncing up here, as you can see yesterday, pushing up above that 50% area. Now with this gap down um, uh, potentially coming in this morning, I would look for the possibility that we could be back below that 50% area and maybe seeking out this lower side of T2122 for the first time in a long time, relieving a lot of that overbought pressure. So if the bulls can reverse this um, um, here this morning, then look for that test up here. 
um, to potentially come into place. We could retest that resistance up in there, that overbought condition, if they can find that inspiration. But pre-market is kind of suggesting uh, we or we may be seeking the lower side here this morning. Watch that close. If we take a look at our T2108, our T2108 had a nice little bounce yesterday. Um, that was a nice thing to see. Little relief on that on last week's selling. You want to notice here that we've broken this upside trend and we failed it right there. That amazing how that works. Failed it right there on the trend to the low side. But nothing really bad has happened here yet. We've pushed back 57% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. Um, holding on in here. We've got price support beneath here. So I don't think anything is overly bearish here just yet but there is a little concern with what we're seeing this morning now if we take a look at our t2107 uh, t2107 same thing where we broke that trend it's just kind of remarkable how we can break a trend like that and then test it as resistance on the underneath side before we come down but if you'll notice right in here there's price support in the chart and there's price support here in the chart so i don't think this is overly ugly however with iwm showing that uh, substantial gap down this morning that could change pretty quickly so keep a close eye on that our uh, t2101 has been showing us well just unbelievable um, lack of market breadth and um, we're testing some low areas here in the chart a recent test down in here before we spiked up um, in breadth and this hook right in here may suggest that spike could come now what could bring that in well I think maybe a little bit of fear in the market could bring that in where suddenly we see that bear um, attack that we're seeing here in the pre-market if it follows through um, to the downside that could bring in that um, spike uh, back up in market breadth and everyone's selling and racing for the door to protect their capital. So just be kind of careful there. As I've been warning, continue to raise those stops and be careful in here. Um, don't over trade because, well, days like this can make for a very painful day. Um, if it continues to push to the downside. And that's a big if yet. I don't know that, but um, we're kind of overdue for one of those days. So um, just kind of be prepared for that possibility in a test of 50 day moving averages in the charts. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, our economic calendar, we've got um, a few things to be paying attention to. And do I even have the economic calendar open? Um, it's, it's not looking like I, oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, so our economic calendar for today, if you'll take a look, we've got um, NFIB um, um, optimism index. I doubt the market reacts to that at all. International trading goods, however, could be important. And right now, consensus is suggesting that we have an ever so slight improvement. We were at 69 uh, a negative 69 billion last reading and they're looking for a 65.4 billion reading today so a little bit of improvement on our international trade deficit wholesale inventories will be out there i doubt we pay much attention to that and um, then we've got some bond auctions here which of course been problematic for us as those bonds are holding in there tenacious in fact the the long bond the the 10-year bond is um Boy, some there's a lot of trading in there and a lot of pressure in that 10-year bond. So um, watch that closely. Now, as we move forward, kind of keeping in mind, we're going to be thinking about this. And there seems to be, as you can see, that volume kind of light today, yesterday. A lot of thought processes going into that CPI. Will it be good? Will it be bad? How will the market react? I think there's a little bit of an uncertainty about that. So just kind of keep in mind that could continue to plague us over the next couple of days. Let's take a look at our um, 
earnings calendar for today and our earnings calendar is a busy one um, I, there's no way I can cover all the reports uh, that will be firing off here this morning on the earnings calendar so if you guys could do me that favor and that's click that link below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list we're gonna hear reports from stocks like um, ADT will be in here today um, AKAM will be reporting um, APPS is on the list we've got um, Fox A reporting today we've got Hostess reporting today um, Jacobs Engineering will be in there today so um, we've got quite a few reports in here um, including TTWO and TWLO kind of type the right symbol TWLO and uh, UPS um, uh, that we saw earlier this morning that is looking pretty ugly here so um, a lot of reports expect some considerable volatility here in the market how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click the, that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be worthy or helpful if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment and remember guys you don't have to leave any kind of lengthy uh, comment um, if you're watching the video and you find it helpful it's just really quick to just send an emoji and that is a reaction to the video and that reaction to the video um, um, helps show the engagement and allows that YouTube alg algorithm to show these videos to more folks so thank you so much to folks who Take the time to do that i do really appreciate it in supporting the effort that it takes to put these videos out every day also um, thanks to everyone who shares these videos on your social media feed that helps the channel to continue to grow and thank you so much to those who continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link i do truly truly appreciate it let's take a peek at some of these charts setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you need to do your own due diligence be very very careful in this market because i think there is a possibility of some significant volatility coming into play here and i don't know if that volatility is going to be pushing us higher or lower so make sure that that you're planning your trades carefully you're following your risk tolerance and that you are um, uh, following your trading rules never blindly follow someone else's trade ideas so first off let's take a look at our US dollar there's some fluctuation going on here in the US dollar you saw yesterday we gapped up and pulled back boy this morning we're powering back to the upside with bond yields um, moving on up and that cost of the dollar going up and there is some concern um, this morning in the financials take a look at like um, XLF finding some reversal here with SoftBank um, running into some troubles um, here so we have kind of a reversal and the possibility of a lower high setting up there in the financials and we know how quickly financials can change the sentiment of the market so watch that one closely in here today as well um, besides that let's take a look at a few stocks I put um, an alert on ZIM yesterday because I really like the way this pattern is setting up in here but continue to sell off pushing down into this support we'll want to watch that carefully in here with the bearishness of the market today a lot of the bullish signals um, um, that we're looking good may not trigger or or maybe reverse so keep an eye on that but i still think this zim is a pretty good looking chart um, and if you look we're still holding above our 50-day moving average and i do like this pattern where that 50-day moving average is starting to turn so although we've we may be giving up this little bit of support in here it's possible we could break down and pop right back up so um, i think zim might be worth putting on a list and be watching pretty carefully here for
uh, potential trade coming up. Now we'll be reporting on the 16th and that could mess things up completely. So just kind of keep that in mind. Take a look at uh, GE. GE has been looking really beautiful in here, continuing to run in this trend and it's trying to push on through um, some resistance highs over here. I'm going to go to a weekly. We've got kind of a uh, congestion area here in the chart on GE but we're trying to push up through there here as you can see um, breaking back higher so watch that in here if this rests a few more days across here I think that'd be healthy and then look for that opportunity maybe in to GE it's looking pretty darn good um, uh, a place that you may be wanting to uh, keep an eye on here is um, with the pressure in the banks. Um, take a look at PayPal. Oof. PayPal um, really got hit hard on its earnings report and you can see rallied up yesterday. This may well, if the banks are running into trouble here um, in the market and we're starting to see that little bit of a shift, you might see PayPal move on lower here in the chart. So um, possible short setup that could be um, happening there worth keeping an eye on. You might want to keep an eye on oil. Um, anything in that oil sector is under pressure here this morning and that's because of that bad Chinese data and that look that well if Chinese not gonna China is not gonna be needing um, all that oil we have that demand destruction and you'll notice right here we have that potential of a big topping pattern and resistance in the chart so if we're gonna fail this trend obviously pretty substantial gap down here this morning. Watch that closely um, as that goes on. That's that's kind of ugly here in that chart. And um, also with the strengthening dollar, anything in commodities um, is going to look pretty rough. Take a look at gold pulling back here this morning. We've got silver pulling back here this morning with that strengthening dollar. And we're likely to continue to see failure patterns occur in some of our commodity sector stocks like steel u.s steel putting in a pretty big ugly after failing support here um, and gapping down this morning so keep a, an eye on some of those commodity related stocks in there in the market um, that being said boy i gotta tell you we've been holding up really really well in some of the retail stocks take a look at um Costco. Now Costco had um, kind of an ugly bearish candle on Friday and reversed in here and you'll notice even with the selling coming in this morning we're not looking too bad there on Costco and a person could maybe ignore this little um, uh, bump down here and say hey Costco um, if it holds in this area may have some more upside potential and I'm seeing um, old Wally world out here as well showing some pretty good signs it is away from its trend here a bit um, it may have a little bit of work to do there yet and, and it's possible that this is the trend and we're going to report on 817 and notice we're trying to break out of all-time highs here in Walmart if that pops that's something interesting to be paying attention to. So with that, guys, um, I'm going to call this video um, coming to an end here. Um, don't want to make it too long, and I want to wish you guys a fantastic day in your trading. I want to wish you great results. Be a little careful today. Be a little bit watchful for, for uh, that volatility, whipsaws, complete reversals that could um, happen here as we can... Well, we just kind of travel through this little bit of uncertainty heading into um, inflation data. So with that, I wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.